to recount up to this point, the four bros, myself included, we've overcome a number of obstacles. Our internal gut health has since returned to semi-normal at this point. Our motion sickness is pretty well dissipated now. We're about as ready as we'll ever be to complete the final chapter, which consists of sampling from our own backyard, which is nice. The one thing that we hadn't anticipated is that the boat that we'd been using to visit the other two islands is not available for this particular trip. Two of the bros are New Zealanders who are only visiting Morea for a very short period of time. We're in a time crunch. We either have to scrap this last piece of the puzzle, which is not really an option, or we have to suck it up and take a, a lesser boat. This lesser boat is, you know, it's kind of uh, not the most pretty thing. It's a bit rusty, a bit banged up. It's also a bit sinky. We figure, you know, this thing hasn't sunk very often. We're probably gonna be completely fine. And we're only gonna have the boat out for 10, 11 hours tops. It's go time. Ironically, it wasn't until the very end of our last dive that we had an issue. We start to drive away from the dive site, all of a sudden the boat engine dies. We're on the fore reef, and that means that the waves are actually pushing us into the reef crest. If you've been to a coral reef, you know that if you're standing on the shore, you often see white caps on the reef. Those are waves smashing on the crest of the reef, the tallest part of the reef. This is actually one of the reasons that we love coral reefs. They're these growing rocks that provide these amazing structural barriers from huge waves that would otherwise be battering coastlines. So we're about to get destroyed by these growing rocks that we love. Ah! The second we realize this, we throw anchor. Is it gonna hold, is it gonna hold? Anchor holds, and now we're kind of in a weird situation. We tried a lot of different options to get this thing going. Any sort of MacGyver tactics that any of us had learned in the field up to this point, we gave it a go. Nothing doing. Of course, we did bring a cell phone with us for safety reasons, but as you can imagine, cell phone reception offshore on a tiny island in the South Pacific, not too good. So now we play the waiting game. We start having serious discussions at this point about whether we're gonna swim. To swim from our current location would be quite a challenge. Not only do you have a lot of waves, but it's about two miles to shore, about three and a half kilometers. So it's getting later and later. Probably the only thing worse than swimming for your life over long distances in the ocean is doing it at night. The only shortcut would be to go over the reef crest with our bodies. It's not something you necessarily want to do anywhere, especially on this particular stretch of the reef. We're on the west side of the island where the waves happen to be pretty big. The biggest on Morea. They're not Chopu sized waves, but they're big. Finally, we decide we're gonna give it one more shot after about 15 minutes letting the engine sit. If it doesn't start this time, we gotta start swimming. Fingers crossed. We don't know how it happened. The engine did start. Yes! Now we gotta move quick. We gotta pull this anchor up. And if it dies again, we're possibly in a worse situation because we can get pushed even closer to the crest and would need to throw the anchor immediately. So we're on the ready. We pull the anchor up, ready to throw it again. Engine holds. We get out of there. Not quite dark yet. In fact, the weather cleared up a little bit on the way home. We're all feeling really awesome. We also had the good fortune of seeing a kite surfer who almost ran into our boat on the way home. That's good luck. It certainly hasn't been a completely smooth set of expeditions, but we got a lot done and we're all still alive. Would I do it again if you asked me today? I, I, yeah, sure. The best part was when this expedition ended, I still had almost three months left to do field research in French Polynesia. The saga continues. Yeah.